This next question is relatively straightforward. If we realize that there's no law of exponents that's going to simplify it, we simply have to do all the hard work that it looks like we might have to do. We're going to have to find the third root of 8. We're going to have to invert this, make it 8 over 27 to the positive 2 thirds, and evaluate that. And we're going to have to figure out the fourth root of 256 and the fourth root of 625. Figure out each expression separately and then use our laws of fractions to evaluate. Well, we know 8 to the 1 third is 2. 27 over 8 to the negative 2 thirds becomes 8 over 27 to the positive 2 thirds. And we've got 256 over 625 to the exponent 1 over 4 still. Well, 8 over 27 to the 2 thirds is like saying 8 to the 1 third and 27 to the 1 third, but then remembering to square the result. And 256 over 625 to the 1 quarter is like figuring the 4th root of the numerator and the 4th root of the denominator. Well, 8 to the 1 third is 2 and 27 to the 1 third is 3, but we still have to square it. The 4th root of 256 is 4 and the 4th root of 625 is 5. So what we now have is um, merely needing to evaluate this middle fraction. Well, 2 thirds squared is 2 squared over 3 squared. So we end up with 2, which is 2 over 1, 2 squared over 3 squared, which is 4 over 9, and 4 fifths. We find our common denominator of 45, and we add. And our final answer is 74 over 45.